Okay, so replacing the RAM on uh, HP EliteBook 8540P. First things first, we need to remove the battery. So, back in the machine, there's a clip here, and one clip there. Push those out, and the battery should then slide free. Put that to one side. Now, before we do anything else, just need to discharge any possible static electricity that might be held within your body by touching something metal. Anything metal, the frame of a desk, or in my case there, we've got an anti-static mat. That just reduces any chance of static electricity damaging any components whilst you're working inside the computer. Once you've done that, we're going to remove this RAM case cover here on the back of the laptop. Two screws, nice easy Phillips connections. One, two, and then just pull the cover up there and place that to one side. And hopefully you'll see inside here one slot for a RAM memory module. Now, to take out the module, just pull the little clips on either side of it like that. And it should then just flick up like so. Take the RAM out. And when you're putting in the new module, take the module there. Line up the slot in the RAM which you can just about see there, with the slot in the holder. Push it in as far as it will go, and then push down there so it clicks back into the slot for it. Okay, now, to get to the second module, slightly trickier, because we have to take the keyboard off. So we'll put this uh, cover back on first. Like so. Now, to release the keyboard on the back of the laptop, there are three screws, all of which are marked with a keyboard sign next to them. So there's one here, one over here, and the third one is here. So loosen those screws up. They don't come out, but they will just loosen. And once they are loose, we turn the laptop over, open it up, and here we go. Now, the screws are loose, but the keyboard won't just slide out. There are three small clips along the top keys, which hopefully you will see here. That's one of them, and then further along, two. And the last one, three. So actually, one, two, three, four. Big pardon, one at the very end there. Now, these need to be there currently in the lock position there. If you just gently push them back like that, you'll see they push back and unlock. So unlock all four. There. Okay. So now the keyboard should be able to come loose. Little, this is probably the trickiest part, though, to be honest, because you just have to get a fingernail or a plastic sort of a plastic knife or something not too sharp down in here and lift. I've got my nail there, so you just lift it up like that. You'll hear it unclip on the sides, and then once it's lifted up and unclipped the side, it just slides forward like this. Do it nice and gently because there are wires attaching that keyboard onto the motherboard there and we don't really want to disturb them. Now you can see under the keyboard we have this second space for the second RAM module. Push it up the clips, take out the module, put it down, get your upgrade one, same again, line up the slots, push it in until the gold bits disappear push down and it clicks into place and then it's just a case of doing it in reverse so the keyboard goes back on it slides in you'll see this little on here hopefully you can see that there's small clips these bits go under the cover like that go push down gently push it down and push these clips back into place that's 
great. Make sure it's clipped in its sides. Close it there. Turn the laptop back over. And the last thing we need to do now is tighten the three screws to hold the keyboard back in place again. That's one. Two, oh, two's here. And three. And that's it. Back to go. You can go back in at this point. Make sure it's locked back on. And you have upgraded the memory on your Elite Book.